Apologies for the sound. Quick stop along the workshop. This machine is running. What I am doing in there is trial testing, trial doing a couple of titanium cheese slicers for my, for my machinist project. So we're just trialing the process before we start putting like a few hundred of them through. Um, that's pretty much all I've got to show you at this workshop. We're gonna head to the new workshop right now. It's a bit quieter here, which is nice. So trying to put the vise up on top of the uh, milling machine there, but for some reason, the, there's like little clamps that go in the rails. There's like little rails that go across. Um, I'll show you them in case you've not noticed them before. So these things here, and they just wouldn't fit. They were just like slightly too big. So I'm thinking that maybe this big vise here, you can see it there. In the box, we packed it back in the box, we're going to have to return it. Um, we think that maybe it's a big vice and therefore has bigger runners, so we might need to get a smaller vice that has smaller runners. Or maybe that it's just not a standard thing um, and, you know, we got like a metric machine and imperial vice or something like that. I have no idea. Thinking of maybe tr t trying to machine some titanium today. Only done aluminium on the mill, but yeah, I think I'll give titanium a go. That was titanium. I played it really, really safe. Like, I don't know if you noticed, but you would have seen it plunging in. That wasn't meant to happen. Like, it was meant to ramp in slowly, 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 and then start cutting. But it just went and it's just like, it was a mistake. But I think it was a good mistake because it showed that, um, <laughs> you know, the end mill held up, created a big chip like this here. What I'm gonna do now is, I just, I just stopped that pocket because it was taking so long, it was like, the first two layers, I've got four layers, one, two, three, four, doing four mil at one mil a time. The first two took eight minutes, so it's just like, I'm not gonna keep watching it because I think I'm just not cutting aggressively enough. I can do, I can do way more cutting. So I'm gonna try it again, but increase how much it's cutting sort of around the sides and try and get that ramp thing sorted as well.
So there we have it. A titanium pocket. I, you know, truthfully, I can't believe it works so well. I mean, I'm probably going way, way slower than I should be. Probably I should be way more aggressive. But, you know, it's cutting, it's not breaking bits, the machine isn't squealing, there's, you know, I'm probably doing at least a dozen things wrong, but I'm okay with that. This is the first time I've done it, it's all good. I know it's boring stuff, it's a little pocket, it's a little bit of titanium scrap, it's just basic stuff. But stick with me, I'm going to be learning this, I'm going to be making some awesome stuff soon. A uh, spinner very soon I think, like if I can do this in titanium, I've, you know, that's a good start. I can cut a spinner blank on the water jet cutter over there and then, you know, fix, fix it in here once I get the new vise of course. And you know, and then we're sort of rocking and rolling and yeah. What I might do is, is I might try and bevel the edge. We'll see, see how that goes. I'm not sure. I've got to leave early today, so unfortunately this is almost the end of this bit. We'll, uh, yeah. So what that was there was a bevel, and a very unsuccessful bevel at that. I tried one, two, three times and the, and the little sort of bevel tool just wasn't hitting it. Finally kind of got it to do a bit of a bevel there, kind of hard to see, but the tool just isn't kind of, I need to, I need to, I need to be more aggressive and, and get it further into the sides. I'm going to try that again. So that bevel worked a bit better. I never really showed it to you because it's very difficult to see the way the light's kind of angled on it, but more practice on that, possibly tomorrow, see how it goes. I think I'm gonna call it a day at that. I will leave you with a quote. It is by Frederick Douglass, and he said, without a struggle, there can be no progress.